I'm Nick Baker. Let me introduce you to my bug safari. Every kid, go back far enough, loves bugs. Now, the problem is, a lot of the products on the market are designed by people who don't necessarily love bugs or don't necessarily know anything about them. They just see a market opportunity and you end up with a bug pot that you can't really, it just doesn't work or doesn't work in the way they could work. So what I did was get together a few of the thoughts and ideas that I would like to see employed in children's bug hunting kits. And this is the answer. This is my Living World Bug Safari. Now this is a, a very, it's just a beginner's kit really. It's really basic stuff. But in it, you get all sorts of things that you probably wouldn't have thought about. So this is a bug pot. What could you really do with a bug pot that uh, hasn't already been done? Well, you can design them properly for a start. So straight away, you've got a magnifying lens at the top, a lid that fits really tight so the things can't escape. Well, if you dropped it for any reason, the lid's not gonna pop off and it's really quite secure. Off it comes, but also you'll notice it's not circular. So any animal in there will quickly find itself a nice little cranny, a nice little corner to rest in and that helps you observe it. Whereas if it was a round one, they just go round and round in circles and wouldn't stand still for very long. A lot of thought went into that, but we've got other things here. What on earth would you want a paintbrush for? Well, that's one of the safest ways of picking up those fiddly little insects that um, you, if you were to use your fingers, you would you'd do them damage, you would crush them. So with this, you can gently transfer your insects into your bug pot forceps well they do the same thing for slightly more sturdy animals or if you're picking up small parts of the piece of the piece of the plant that they're on they're quite handy but uh, and it's a magnifying lens of course because these things are small so it folds up on itself it can go in the pocket it's always there for you but when you need it it just comes out of its protective case and uh, and off it goes it's brilliant it's a great little thing and if you want to you can even put a bit of string on it um, wrap through that little loop there and you can have it around your neck so it's there at all times um, and then these things I designed this. I did this out of yogurt pots when I was a, a small boy, but I kept crushing insects. So there's a few little faults in it. But this one has been honed by the, uh, the team at Interplay. And the whole point of this is, I call these my cricket tongs, but they're, they could be deployed with whole groups of various insects. And how it works is imagine there's a beetle sitting on that flower. You basically put that underneath and you very slowly put the lid on like that and you've got it there, and then you can transfer it or you can look at it with your magnifying lens. So the cricket tongs are a brilliant way of capturing insects without, without squishing them with your fingers, because insects and, and other invertebrates don't particularly like that. So it's all there in this kit. It's a very simple kit, but I think it does the job. And if you've got any questions as to what you found or indeed how you use that equipment, it's all in this manual, which I've also written. So it's all there for you. And all you need is this, this is a great way of firing up the enthusiasm, maybe in the summer holidays or the Easter holidays or, or whenever it is you really want your, your, your children to play in the garden or go outside and, and just get involved. Then as soon as you've got something like this, you'll find that it's kind of addictive. People, they just want to catch things and put them in boxes. And, and, and that's the first step into appreciating what these tiny lives actually represent. Thank you.